Boatboards has been known as an industry leader for paddle boards with their hardboards and their inflatables. And now they are making inflatable kayaks and this year they have expanded their offerings. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the attributes so you can make an informed decision to purchase your boat inflatable kayak. All of the kayaks have a couple included accessories, including a really awesome travel bag, a hand pump, a repair kit, and a center fin, as well as a seat. The kayaks do not come with a paddle, but we do have a boat five piece kayak paddle available and packs down really small that can fit in the bag. But for some of them, you might want to stand a paddleboard paddle instead of a kayak paddle or maybe both. The first up in the lineup is the Deus, which is an 11 foot kayak. It weighs 41 pounds and has a 300 pound capacity. The loaded bag weight is 50 pounds. With the Deus, Kayak or paddle board, you get to pick. You can take the seat off, it's removable, and you can paddle with a stand-up paddle board, paddle, or you can sit down and use a kayak paddle. The kayak is self-bailing, but you probably won't need that feature as much because with those high sides, it's a pretty dry ride. You don't really get any water over the side. If you are paddling in windy conditions often, those sides end up catching the air a little bit, it makes it a little bit more difficult to navigate, and so, you might want to consider the Zeppelin 10 footer instead and we'll talk about that one in just a minute. The Deus deflates easily and rolls up and fits in its travel bag for storage or for transportation. The Deus big brother is the Lono. The Lono is a 12 and a half foot inflatable kayak and almost 36 inches wide. The section on the back weighs nine pounds and the seat weighs seven pounds. So if you wanted to use it more as a stand up paddle board, you can remove those things, shed 16 pounds and create some space on the kayak. The Lono is 51 pounds, in the bag it's 73 pounds. This doesn't take into consideration the pedal drive itself. The Lono is not really gonna be something you're gonna probably be checking on an airplane like you might with the Zeppelin or the Days, but it's a great kayak to be able to roll up in store or to be able to throw in the trunk of your car. It has a lot of handles, a lot of stash pockets, bungees, accessory mounting points and it's already set up in the back to take the Cooleth cooler from boat, and you can also accessorize it with the rocket rack for anglers. Now this is boat's flagship kayak, and it can take the Apex pedal drive system that they've come out with, and the Apex pedal drive system is sold separately, comes with the removable rudder system as well, and this makes the kayak very versatile because you can use a stand-up paddle board, you can use a kayak paddle, or you can use the pedal drive system, and this is a great option for anglers. Last year, Boat came out with the Zeppelin, and it was a great kayak. At 12 and a half feet, you could have one or two people in it. And for this year, they've come out with a, we call it the baby Zeppelin. It's a 10 foot, small little inflatable. It's super comfortable, great to paddle. It's probably our favorite one just to paddle. And it only weighs 37 pounds, has a 300 pound capacity, and the loaded bag weight is 48 pounds. In addition to being a joy to paddle, it was really versatile. It's gonna feel at home on lakes and salt water, but I think this is probably also the best option if you wanna paddle any rivers with a boat inflatable as well. 38 inches wide gives you plenty of stability, and there's three air chambers, not including the seat. Just like the other boat kayaks, it has lots of handles, bungees, and accessories. Now the Zeppelin 12 and a half came out last year. This year, they're including two seats instead of just one. And this makes it really versatile for a single paddler that might wanna bring along a friend once in a while. So you can set it up with two seats. This is gonna be a great setup for a tandem kayak. It only weighs 41 pounds. In the bag, it's 50 pounds. And it has a 600 pound capacity. And even though you might take a little bit more water over the sides compared to the Deus or the Lono, it also has a self bailing feature in the floor as well so you don't have to worry about the thing filling up on you. Okay, now we're gonna throw this other one into this video and we're, we talk about it in our paddleboard video too but we don't really know where it goes. Maybe that's a good thing. The Rackham Aero 12 foot 4 inch is a interesting kayak, paddleboard, both, we don't really know. You can paddleboard it, you can kayak it, comes with the seat, but you can also put the Apex 
pedal drive in it as well. And this thing is a really cool fishing machine. We're really excited about getting this thing out this summer and doing some fishing from it. Comes with all the different accessories that you would wanna have. It has the sheath for the stakeout pole, has the sheath for the paddle, has the arrow rack slide in receivers for the tackle rack. The seat comes off so it can be a paddle board. You can use the seat as a kayak. This thing's 38 inches wide. So we like to say that you can have a dance party on this thing. 400 pound capacity so you don't have to worry about, it's not gonna be tippy like a paddle board would be, but it is 45 pounds and in the rolling duffel bag it's 80. So it is a little bit of a bigger inflatable, but we're guessing for the users that are gonna be using it that that's not gonna be a problem. Okay, let's wrap this video up with a couple concluding thoughts. But first, if you found this video helpful, give it a like so others can find it too. Thanks. If you're a brand new paddler, the Dace or the Zeppelin 10 are gonna be great options for you. If you're an angler and you wanna get out on the water and do some kayak fishing, the Lono is definitely gonna be the best option for anglers, especially with the rocket rack behind you to be able to hold a net and rods, to be able to bring along lots of gear, stand up and cast, a lot of great options, including using that Apex pedal drive system. Now, if you wanna take two paddlers, the Zeppelin 12 and a half is your only option. If you already have a boat kayak, we'd love to hear from you. Which one do you have? Why do you love it? Why do you pick that one? And if you have any questions about any of these boat kayaks, we'd love to answer those down in the comments. Thanks for joining us today and make sure you check out our other videos for more boat kayaks and paddleboard videos. Thanks.